Hello there everyone and welcome back. Today we are going to be talking about how to both play and build Nox inside of Smite. We're going to talk about things like her strengths, her weaknesses, how to build her to make her effective, and everything else that I deem relevant. So without further ado, let's dive in with a brief description of Nox's abilities. Nox's passive is a power buff that basically states that if you can cast abilities without getting hit by enemy gods yourself, you will do more damage. Nox's first ability is a line attack that when it hits the target, cripples that target for an extended duration of time. Now what is unique about this ability is that it is not interrupted by crowd control. The only way that you can shake this ability is if you use your beads. Nox's second ability creates a giant circle on the battlefield that will explode and deal massive amounts of damage. Anyone that is inside of this circle is silenced and thus cannot cast abilities. Now, this combination of Nox's second ability and first ability creates Nox's biggest strength as a god, and that is you have to use purification beads or you die. But don't worry, we're only halfway through this character's abilities and her third ability is a dash. And what makes this dash unique is that not only does it do damage, but you can fly inside of friendly gods and then do more damage after. So think, you know how Chernabog, he dashes into a wall and then he can dash again? Nox kinda does that, but she dashes into a friendly god, and then her dash turns into a giant circle that deals, again, a lot of damage. Now finally we come to Nox's ultimate, which is a giant sphere that does a lot of damage, creates some ticking damage, as well as reduces all damage done by the targets that are hit by 40% for 5 seconds. Now with the abilities out of the way, we're gonna start discussing how to build Nox. And as I have touched on in the past, when we're thinking about building a character, we are thinking about maximizing their strengths while masking their weaknesses. So in this case, we are going to be trying to blow up that target. Right now we have a good way to completely eradicate a single character on the map. We wanna make sure that our abilities actually do that, so we're gonna be building a lot of power. So here's the build that I usually use. It's a great build. It accomplishes the goal of the character, which is to land your combo and then blow that character up. It does that very well. Now let's start talking about the build a little bit. We start Bancroft's Talon simply because it gives you a lot of power very early. The 100 power that this item gives you is insane. Plus the little bit of lifesteal that it provides allows you to stay in lane and farm more efficiently. Now afterwards we are gonna build into our pen boots because in this case, the extra flat pen is way more valuable than CDR throughout every stage of the game. Continuing on, we are going to build Nox's best item, and that is because of just the amount of ticks that Nox has in her kit. We're going to be building Spear of the Magus. This item sets up Nox's combo to eradicate tanks now. What this item does is every single time an ability ticks, it's going to lower their magical protection. When you're thinking of Nox's combo, you're laying down the circle, and then you're catching them with the one, and that one is going to be doing ticking damage. By building Spear of the Magus, you are going to be maximizing the damage that your burst does. Now after Spear of the Magus, we're going to be building into Kronos Pendant, because this item gives you all the CDR that Nox really needs to thrive in any circumstance. Then to finish up the build, you're going to be building into Soul Reaver because the extra percent damage is very nice for getting the extra little damage off that you might be missing. And then Obsidian Shard to continue fucking with the tanks. So yeah, that's the build that I like to use. At this point, we're gonna start moving into the general tips and tricks that I have for Nox because there are some small things that you can change to really maximize how this character plays out. The first tip is really a very self-explanatory one, which is hit your shit. Nox is a nothing character if you cannot land your combo. You have to land the combo to be relevant. You do not do any damage unless you land your combo. Sure, getting the cripple off on someone is nice, but the cripple isn't very threatening if you don't have the giant circle of death that's about to explode on them. So hit your shit. Second tip is don't be afraid to dash aggressively. It has a big payoff if you can play around it. So when you see that, say, someone needs a little bit of extra damage in them to die and you dash into the tank that's fighting them and then immediately explode to get that kill, you are kill securing and no one will ever yell at you for it. You're the burst character. Make sure you are dashing safely, but don't be afraid to dash aggressively. The third and final tip that I have for Nox players is, please, don't use your ult as a snipe. Use it at the start of a team fight when the enemy team is gonna have a lot of abilities that need to have their damage reduced. 
A huge part of Nox's ultimate that people seem to consistently forget about is the fact that it does 40% damage reduction on all enemies that it hits. So if you can land this ability on like two to three people, and let's say it's the entire back line, the enemy team is gonna be useless for about five seconds, and then they might use ultimates and have them flop, and a whole bunch of other interactions can occur. This ultimate really isn't great as a snipe, but it is so much better if you use it in the thick of things to help reduce the amount of damage that is gonna be going out onto your team. Now, the final thing I wanna to touch on before I end the video is say what matchups are good or bad for Nox. And by far, Nox's worst matchup is any team comp that has the enemy with a Geb. Geb takes everything that Nox tries to do and ruins it. Geb shield is one of few things that gets rid of Nox's cripple, and thus counters the character entirely. So if you're playing ranked and you're trying to pick up Nox for your team, please ban Geb, or your whole strategy is gonna fall to shit. As for direct matchups, there is no character in the game that Nox directly shits on, or any other character that directly shits on Nox. The only thing you really have to remember is you have both a silence and a cripple, so you are going to be really good at shutting down characters that are really ability heavy, and characters that are really movement heavy. And you really shut down characters that do both. So think characters like Susano, and then look to absolutely annihilate them because they won't be able to move. Thank you all so much for watching, subscribe if you enjoy, and I will see you all in the next video. Have yourselves a casual day. Hey guys, thank you all so much for watching. If you want to see more stuff from me in the future, hit my face in the bottom left to make sure you subscribe and keep up to date with me. If you want to watch more stuff from me right now, I have quite a bit to choose from, but I'm going to put two videos on the screen right now for you to choose from. Anyway guys, this is Celtic, signing off. Have yourselves a casual day.